Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last video, we created the high poly and low poly mesh for this bullet shells and unwrapped them. And today we are going to import them in Substance Painter, then Bake and Texture. So let's create a new document, create a new project and import your low poly and keep the resolution to 048 and leave all the settings to default. Hit OK. And go to your texture set settings, uh, Bake Mesh Maps. Change the output size to 2K and import your high poly mesh. Click on this apply diffusion and uh, increase this frontal and rear distance. Keep it 0.1. Change the anti aliasing to 4x4. And uh, go to this ambient occlusion and let's turn it up a little bit. Keep it uh, 128. And just hit big selected textures so our maps are done hit ok and uh, let's create some stencils for our textures and for that we are going to use the photoshop so open the photoshop and i have taken this uh, 1000 by 1000 pixels canvas here and painted black in the background and just added some text so you can just take the text tool and type anything you want in your stencil so i've created this one so let's save this And you want to save this in PNG. Rename it as stencil1 or whatever you want. Save this and I've created this other one. And this could be a little bit tricky. So for this, I'm going to show you how you can create this in Photoshop. Let's hide this. And take this ellipse tool. Create a circle like this and for the visibility let's add some stroke, disable the fill and press ctrl A to select everything and here align it in the center. Now press T to take the text tool and click on this outline of this circle here. So whatever you type now, it's going to wrap around this circle. So you can type anything you want. So I'm going to copy my old text. And now let's go back to this circle. Click on this outline and paste it. Now you can see that it's not on the whole circle. And for that you can increase the size of this text here or just enter any number for like over 140 so we have this stencil now you can delete this ellipse so that's how you can create a simple stencil in photoshop now let's go back to our old one and for this Repeat the same thing, just save it as PNG. So now import your stencils in your substance printer. So open that folder, select these two images and drop it in here and define them as textures and you can import them in your library or in your current project whole current session so let's import them in the current project and import and here we have these stencils so we are going to use them later in this video and for now let's create some base material for our model go to layers and delete this empty layer let's rename this and now let's take a new fill layer and uh, increase this metalness and decrease the roughness keep it 0 0.15 and change the color like this maybe a little bit darker
Now we're going to create a duplicate of this and rename this as color one and this one color two or you can rename them as you want. So for this, uh, let's change its color. Something like this. Now right click on this color one and select this add mask with color selection and uh, go to the pick color and select this blue and let's do the same thing for this color too add mask with color selection pick color and select this yellow like this and now you can make changes in here So take a new fill layer and let's add some roughness. So turn off metal, color, normal and height. Put it on the top of these two layers and rename it as surface roughness. Add a black mask and add a fill. Let's go to these textures. and try this grunge dirt scratchy and drop it in the fill and you can see some roughness on your material here now take another fill layer and uh, this time disable color metal and normal increase the roughness to 0.5 and keep the height minus 0.02 rename it as scratches add a black mask and then take a fill and search for the scratches or something like this in your grunge maps let's select this grunge shavings and drop it in here Uh, maybe decrease the roughness keep it 0 0.3 and uh, also height just a little bit keep it minus 0 0.03 so we are almost done for uh, this bottom part and now let's use our stencils so take a new fill layer and rename it as uh, tensil 1 add a black mask then a uh, paint and in the paint you will see this option for the stencil now go to your library and search for stencil and you will see this stencil 2 let's use this now and drop it in here so to use this you can use your 3d view or your uv view so I'm going to use this one and it's here so just zoom in and place your stencil like this increase your brush size and hardness to 1 now you can paint like this now go back to your layer and now you can make all these changes so if you don't want the color so you can turn off the color and uh, add some height like this maybe disable the metal and roughness now let's create the material for our top part but before that let's select everything in our layer panels put them in a group and rename it as a shell bottom 
and a black mask go to this polygon fill and select all these go to uv mode and select this one so all our texture will stay in these parts only and you can turn off this stencil here now let's create something for this top part and for this let's take a material from our presets so let's try this plastic grid drop it in the layers like this and we can turn off the pattern tile Now right click and add mask with color selection. Pick color and select this red. Now go back and here you can change the color and other parameters. Let's make it more red. Now add a new fill layer. Add a black mask and again add a fill. Search for scratches and select this grunge paint scratch drop it in the fill like this uh, disable paint and uh, change the height to minus 0 0.01 or uh, minus 0 0.02 you can see some subtle scratches here add a little bit of roughness maybe 0 0.4 And you can see some more scratches and dirt here. We will take care of that in a minute. Maybe let's add a little bit more height. So change it to minus 0 0.03. Now take another fill layer and put it down under this scratch layer so rename it scratches and this one peel now right click add a black mask then add a generator and in this generator select this metal edge wear go to this color and uh, increase the roughness and change the height to minus 0.0, .0. 2 or minus 0 0.1 now go to this metal edge wear and uh, use tri planner and decrease the contrast and wear level like this go back to this fill layer and now you can change the color something like this So now let's use the stencil we created for this part. So take a new fill layer and uh, add a black mask, then add a paint, and again search for stencil and select this stencil one and uh, put it here. Zoom in like this. Just turn off this alpha and increase the brush size and paint like this. You can go back and change the paint color for something like this. Or you can make it smaller. So go to paint and zoom in like this paint one time here and paint one time down here
Now go back to this fill layer. And now you can change the color to something like this. And maybe add a little bit of height 0 0.02, something like this. Now you can select all these layers, put them in a group, right click and add a black mask. Go to this polygon fill and select everything on the top. Delete this stencil. And now we can finally put a dirt layer on the top of this entire model. So take a new fill layer and increase the roughness to 1. And go to your smart mask and search for this dirt cavity. Put it on the top of this fill layer. Go to this mask builder and decrease the level. And contrast now you can change the color something like this and maybe turn down the opacity a little bit So we are pretty much done with our texture. You can make a few more changes if you want. But for this video, I think it's enough. So if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And next video is going to be about the rendering this in Marmoset Toolback. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.